I make a lot of my own clothes and bags and equipment and over the years I've gone through this evolution of making some stuff that I didn't end up not using and other stuff I end up using a lot and then figuring out what's good and what's not good and then you know improving things and I'm gonna share with you right now some of my go-to clothing and equipment and this is stuff I use uh, when I'm working adventuring you know not stuff where when I'm hanging out at home this is for like doing stuff all right first I'll start with this hoodie this I just made and it's because I have another one of these that I've worn almost every day for about the last four months. <clears throat> Even though I only have one, I was washing it every day and in the morning when I go out to do stuff, even if it was still damp from the day before, I'd choose it over everything else. So what's so good about this thing? Well, let's start with the hood. Yeah, it's a hoodie. It's got a hood. So this is great because it keeps the sun off my head, obviously. And also, it keeps bugs from getting me. The, uh, the other day, I was cutting a perimeter around this 24-acre property I have. And it's basically just hacking through the jungle, making a mile-long path. So, like, tarantulas are falling on my head, and, you know, crap's falling on me. It doesn't matter. It just bounces off, no problem. Now, if I didn't have a hood, I would be worried about things falling in my shirt. Ah! Creepy crawlies and stuff. So, the hood is excellent. Now the, the shape and size of the hood is good too. It works particularly well if I'm wearing a baseball cap because that uh, keeps the front stuck out uh, so it, it, it leans way out and blocks all the sun and you know keeps the tarantulas from getting close to my face. They just fall right off. So the hood is excellent. What else have we got here? <clears throat> okay, usually with hoodies there is a pocket and it's right here, right? Except when you put stuff in there, if you try to run or anything, it ends up jostling around all over the place and things fall out. It's not that great. It, it, it interferes with movement. So whenever I have pockets or ways of storing stuff on my body, I try to put the pockets in places where I don't move much. So I keep them like on my torso, not on my legs or arms. So I've got one pocket on this. It's right here. And it's got a flap over it, which is very important. So if I go swimming, when I'm swimming, the, f the pocket doesn't catch water and fill up and become a parachute because it's got this flap over that's sewed down the sides to keep it on top of there so as the water goes past, it just runs right over and it doesn't become a parachute. Now this is particularly important when diving into the water and hitting the water fast. I've had shirt pockets rip out because they don't have this flap on top. They'll just catch the water, whoosh, rip off, right? So that helps a lot. <clears throat> now the material is this nylon heavy duty, I don't know. If you have like a, a nylon bag that's, that's pretty rugged kind of thing, that, that's what this is made out of. I bought a giant roll of this from some surplus place really cheap and this is basically what all this stuff is made out of. Um, I'll get a sleeve caught on like a dead branch on the tree and it'll rip the branch off the tree before it rips this. Uh, before when I was wearing cotton stuff more, nothing against cotton, yeah, cause that's what I wear when I'm just chilling, but when I'm working, the cotton would just like rip half the sleeve off, and then I'd be like, oh great, now I need to like fix this or get a new shirt or whatever. Well, this thing is great. Now another feature of this that I did not realize was going to be good when I did it, is the front here is sewn straight down. Originally, I was going to put buttons in here, but when I made the first one, I was just feeling like... I don't know, I just didn't feel like doing it, and I wanted to just put the thing on and go do some stuff and worry about the buttons later. So I ran one stitch down the front so it would be easy to rip out so I could put the buttons in later. However, that stitch is still in the original one, and I found that I like it stitched up in the front more than buttons <clears throat> for a couple reasons. One, when you have buttons, it leaves space, so things could get in there. This, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about buttons popping open. Or if I get this caught, you know, snagged on something as I'm walking past, it's not going to rip a button off because it's just sewn straight. Now, why would you want buttons, given all that information? Because it's easier to get off and on, right? With the buttons. However, I found that it's actually easier with it sewn on right down the front. 
Now it's easier to get your arms in and get everything on when you have buttons, but then you still have to do, all, do up all the buttons. And when it's sewed like this, you have to pull it up over your head. Now if I try to pull it up from the front, I mean from the top, if I'm sweaty or wet or anything, it, the thing sticks to me and it's hard to get off. So I just pull it from the bottom. Oh, let me get my hat up. Okay, so that's easy to get off and on like that, right? Except what's the problem now? It's inside out. So I have to rawr, turn it back right side out to put it back on, back on, right? No, because in this one, I made the seams good on both sides. Now normally, so anyway, I can just put this right back on. So uh, normally when you sew, the easiest way to do seams is you take a cloth like this, you run a stitch along, and then when you open it up, you end up with a thing like this. So on the outside, you have a nice neat seam. On the inside, you have this like little flap of cloth. Now in working clothes, that can be a problem because it gets damaged and starts fraying and you end up with all these threads inside. And also it can catch dirt and sand and stuff. And where you've got a seam like this, it can rub. And as you're moving around all day, it can slowly kind of wear on your skin until you get rubbed raw. And then you're like, oh man, this feels terrible. However, on this, I put my, my seams together like this, ran a stitch through, and then folded the fabric like this, and then ran another stitch over the whole thing. Well, actually, like triple stitch the whole thing. So that way, it's the same from the inside and the outside. It's got a smooth seam either way. So I can take it off. It flips inside out. I just put it back on. Right now, it's inside out. The only thing is the pocket's on the inside. So if I really need the pocket, I mean, I could put one on this side too. But I only have one because I don't really need it that often. So uh, in my other one of these, my sleeves are a little bit shorter. This one I made them a little bit longer. But, uh, you know, I, don't, I like it a lot. I wear this like every day and it's great. Um, oh, and the design for it, it's basically like a button-up shirt from here down with a with a hood on instead of a collar. And the hood's just, you know, shaped like that. It's pretty simple. And then, you know, I made the sleeves longer and took out the buttons. Okay, uh, second piece of equipment. My shorts, hold on, let me get this up. Okay, my shorts I've had for longer than my, my hoodie. And I have two pairs of these, and they're the only short shorts I wear when I'm going out working. Same as with the hoodie. Um, and these are basically the shorts version of the hoodie. Um, the main shorts are just two pieces. So there's seam down the middle, there's no seam down the sides, just one piece of cloth here, one piece of cloth here. Super simple to make. Drawstring at the top so if I, you know, pig out, I can loosen it. Or if I'm working all day and starting to shrink up, get skinny, then I can tighten it like it just did because I don't want it to fall off on the camera. Anyway, and then I've also got a pocket here. Same style as in the hoodie, so that as I'm swimming, water runs over it, doesn't catch into it. <clears throat> and the pocket is up on my hips. Now, the same reason I had the pocket over there, up here, instead of down. You know, in uh, cargo shorts, often the pockets are down here, but if you put stuff in your pockets down there, sure, you can walk, but if you try to run, everything's like flying around like crazy. But up here, I can put my wallet in here, or my tape measure, or screwdriver, or whatever, and I can run around, and it's not jostling around that much. So it's good. Okay, so that's, that's the basic stuff that I wear pretty much every day. And this is back to right side out now. Not that it matters. Okay, other stuff. Yes, it's a wizard hat. This is basically like having a mobile shade roof. So anytime I'm out in the sun and I don't want to have a hood on for some reason, I'll wear this. And it's like being in the shade. And the same thing with the, you know, the tarantulas and stuff falling on my head. It just goes right off the side. It even keeps rain off me if I'm, if I'm getting rained on. Tarantulas are not always falling on my head. Don't worry. Now up here, there's a white band of cloth. Now that's separate from the rest, so there's a bit of an airspace between. So when sun hits here, 
uh, the heat kind of like comes off before it gets into the part that's touching my head. So it helps keep my head cool. <coughs> and then uh, I've also got two little loops here so I can attach a string. If, if I ever get to the point where I feel like this is too easy to blow off my head, I can attach a string here and tie it. Although I haven't had that problem, partly because I've got a copper wire running through the brim. So that means I can shape the hat to be whatever I need it to be. And so I have it high in the front so I can see easily. And it comes down on the side so that when the wind hits, it doesn't catch it and blow it up. It instead ends up just kind of going like that and not blowing the hat, the hat off my head. And uh, if I need to change the shape or anything, I can do that with the wire here. So wizard hat, very useful. All right, what else have I got in here? Ah, pockets. So sometimes I want more pockets than I have. And this is basically just a basic drawstring bag with the string going back down to the bottom, right? So there, I've got an extra pocket. So uh, if I want to carry my wallet or fire starting stuff, some tools, whatever, I can put them in here. And it's pretty much out of the way. The, the string's short enough that, again, the pocket is like on my torso, not getting hit by my legs or not in the way of my arms. And I can put it to the back if I need to, you know, do stuff out in the front here. And one of the things I really like about having external pockets is that I don't have to empty all my pockets before I go swimming or before I wash my clothes or whatever. I can just take it off. And then I've got the same stuff in here tomorrow that I had today and it's all ready to go. So if I have like certain tools that I'm taking with me every day, I don't have to put them in and out of my pockets every day. I just keep them in there. Okay. This next thing I honestly made because I was feeling in a bit of a silly mood. I just, I was just, I just felt like making a cape. I was like, I think I should make a cape. And I did not realize how useful it was going to be. So I don't use this when I'm going out to do stuff so much. Um, I'll wear this <clears throat> early in the morning and in the evening, like dawn and dusk, because that's when the bugs come out. And I can come out, and if I'm standing around, I can just go like this. The bugs don't get me at all. If I really want the bugs to not get me, zoom. or if I'm uh, out in the middle of the day and it's hot and sunny and there's no shade around and I'm not being that I'm not doing that much stuff I just want to have some some shade with me it's like basically like having a, a shade tent with me all the time now if I wanted to get out of the way just throw it over my shoulders now it's out of the way I can use my arms if I it's light enough that if I run it just floats up behind me it doesn't get in the way at all so I made this to kind of be a silly thing However, it's been surprisingly useful. Oh, and I gotta show you my stylish back. Adventure Builder symbol, of course. All right, what else have we got in here? That was a bag. All right, now we've got this. This is my favorite backpack of all time. And I have gone through a lot of backpacks. I've lived off grid for a long time. My last house was a mile from the nearest road. So I was hiking things to my house and back constantly with backpacks. And I would pick up any backpacks I saw in thrift stores. So I get them for like a dollar or two. I had like 20 different backpacks, frame packs, all kinds of backpacks. This is my favorite one I have ever had. So what are the basic features? Let's go through the whole thing. Okay, first the straps. A lot of store-bought backpacks that are sold for hiking and stuff, they have padding in here, which I find to be useless because it's a piece of cloth. It's not, it's, padding isn't going to do anything. It's already a flexible thing. What matters is how wide the straps are because the wider they are, the more the weight's spread out and the less it's going to cut off your circulation to your arms when you're carrying like 100, 200 pounds of stuff in the bag, right? So I made these pretty wide. They're good. <clears throat> I can put uh, 100 pounds in here easy, no problem. Now, it's a little bit loose, 
which is fine for walking. It makes it, because the straps are a little loose, and they're adjustable because it's got this string here that just goes between there and there. I can, I can change it if I need to. But I keep it kind of loose so it's easy to get off and on. And then if, if I want to run and I'm carrying a big load, I can go to take these two strings here, grab them like this, and now the thing is like stuck to me. I can run full speed with this thing on and it's not jostling around and flying around. I've run full speed with this with like 100 pounds in it. I've also carried my daughter around in this. It was pretty funny. When I first made it, she got in and I picked it up, carried it around. It's, uh, it handles weight really well. It's very comfortable to wear. And one of the things I don't have that I see in a lot of uh, you know, store-bought bags that are made for hiking and, and carrying weight is the hip, whatever you call it, the hip strap thing that makes it so the weight is on your hips. I never liked that because it would interfere with my butt muscles and like, you know, make it harder to walk, cut off circulation and stuff. So I just want the weight up here. Now maybe if I was like, maybe if I was a girl and I had bigger hips and smaller shoulders, I'd want it different. But being built the way I am, I definitely want the weight supported up here. So all those things, it's really good. Um, I think I'm going to take you inside to show you the, the rest of things. Okay, so we went over the straps. I've also got a thing here to just pick it up, whatever, it's not that important. Now the main bag part is basically just a big drawstring bag that fits what's inside it. We'll get to that in a second. And I've got lots of, you know, reinforcing strips so that the weight from the straps is transferred down to the bottom corner and you know it's reinforced a bunch of times so the straps are really strong they're not going to rip out now all right let's get to the bag part i wasn't sure if this was going to work out all right but it's been surprisingly good okay so normally when you have a backpack getting into the top uh, it's kind of a pain when you've got stuff down at the bottom that you want to get to. Because, you know, everything is just piled in there and you got to root around this little hole in the top. Well, with this you go like that and you can get to everything. I mean, everything is so easy to get to. And then if there's stuff I want to get to uh, more often, I'll just put it up on the top here. And the, the bag is tight enough around this great thing that if I put stuff up here it doesn't fall down the side and I can just draw a string up there anything that I'll fit up there will basically stay where it is and uh, I'll take this and I've got extra long strings here so that I can tie stuff onto the back and I've got loopy loops here we're just kind of gonna call them loopy loops so I can put the strings through there So maybe I want to tie my sandals on here. I can, I can tie them on like that, or I can crisscross these through these other two loops down here, and you know, attach my tennis racket or boots or whatever or sleeping bag. I can tie stuff onto the back of here, and it works very well. And of course, I don't have to use these strings. I, if I want to be able to open this a lot, I can just have a separate string or rope or whatever to tie stuff on the back of here. And then I've also got pockets on the sides. That's pretty obvious basic stuff. What is in there? Cardboard. Yeah, I think that's it. I, uh, I was originally thinking it was going to be a pain to get in and out of this bag. But the first time I did that, I was like, oh, it's so easy. So I take this grocery shopping with me and I stack stuff up all in here. And if I have breakable stuff, you know, it's got a hard frame. It, it protects everything. And it's so easy to close and open. I love this bag. It's by far my favorite bag of all time. Ah, there's one thing I forgot about my hoodie here. If I go swimming with my hoodie, I take the hood and stuff it down the back of my shirt so it doesn't become a parachute and catch all the water. And then it works no problem. 